Welcome to Math with Mr. Stocks. In this video, we're going to talk about what the constant of proportionality is. It's just a fancy way of saying unit rate. But first, let's look at this equation here. What it is, is this is fancy, the fancy name for this equation is a direct variation. Because what we put into the equation, we're always going to get the same type of answer. So it's called a direct variation. You'll hear that about that in future classes. But it's dealing with ratios. So we have the letter k, the variable k here. What that represents is the constant. That's the thing in the equation that will never change. And then the x here, that's our input. That's whatever number we're putting into the equation. And then our y is our output. That's our answer of what we want to find. So we have the constant of proportionality, or the constant right here, which is represented with k. x is our input, and y is our output. And this is called a direct variation. Let's see how we can use this in real life. So let's say you get a babysitting job. And you get the job, just to make math easy, you're going to make $5 an hour. So that's the amount that you're always going to make. So we're going to substitute that in for the constant. So we're going to make that 5. And x is the hours that you work. And it's going to equal y, the amount you get paid. So we'll use this table. So let's say you work 2 hours. Well, a number next to a variable means multiply. So 5 times 2 equals 10. So you're going to use make $10. Let's say you work four hours. Well, again, we put, that's the input. We put the hours in of four. We take it times five, and it comes out, you're going to make $20. Let's do five. So if we put five hours in for x, so five times five equals 25. So your output is $25. And let's say it's a big day, and you do eight hours. So eight times 5 equals 40. So you're going to make $40. So our input is the x, that's the amount we put into the equation. We take it times k, the constant, or the constant of proportionality, and our output is y, or our pay here. As you see, this is a ratio from the hours we worked to the amount that we were paid is a ratio. Now, you're going to be asked to find how to find that constant or that k. So here's an example. We've got the number of deer that have been seen and the number of square miles they were seen in. Now, if we did this experiment in real life, it wouldn't work out perfectly. But for math's sake, let's say it works out purpose, nice and square in even numbers. All right, so what we're doing is what they've done is they put in 16 and they know they got 144. They put in 13, they got 117, they put in 24 for x, and they got 216. But we want to know, what is k? So the way we can do that, as you see here, you take x times k equals y. Well, we can do the opposite. We can do y divided by x, and that's going to get us k. So we can use these numbers. If we take 144 and we divide that by 16, it's going to give us an answer of 9. If we take 117 and divide by 13, it's going to give us 9. And if we take 216 and divide by 24, it's going to also equal 9. So we know that our k, our constant of proportionality, is 9. It's also the unit rate. That means that there's 9 deer per square mile. So our answer would be 9. So to put this in the original formula, we could say y equals 9x. Because the amount of deer, or the square miles times 9 is going to equal the number of deer. Now, Here's an example I'd like you to try on your own. We know that there are this many numbers of cookie sheets coming out, and we know that this is the amount of cookies that were baked. We want to find out the constant of proportionality, or the unit rate, or k, 
of how many cookies are on a sheet. So you can pause the video now and come back and we'll figure it out. Okay, let's see how you did. So we learned earlier that if we take y and divide by x, that's going to give us k. If we take the output divided by the input, that will give us our constant of proportionality. So let's do that. 36 divided by 2 is going to give us 18. Let's also try 72 divided by 4. That gives us 18. 180 divided by 10 gives us 18. And 288 divided by 16 gives us 18. So we know, because we did all of those, that our constant of proportionality is 18, or our unit rate. That means we can put 18 cookies on a sheet. It also lets us know that our equation would be y equals 18x. Because we take the direct variation, and we just substitute the constant of proportionality, or the unit rate, into 18. If you have any questions over this, please ask me and I'll gladly help you because that's my job.